Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are back with video two of this mini series is what I'm calling it because obviously there's going to be seven, seven of them. And uh, this is orange, uh, Roy G. Biv, R-O, orange uh, of the rainbow. And I'm really loving this look. So if you're new to my channel, I'm RLQ Rosie on Instagram. Most of you guys know me from there. Also, I'm wearing an orange top just because look at it, it matches. And I want it to be orange. Um, but I did do a look with some of the more pigmented oranges I have. I didn't get to use a lot of oranges that I really like, believe it or not, because I felt like there were too many. And I'm going to swatch most of them, but I do want to point out that there are some that um, just didn't tie well with this look. So that's why I kind of just did not use them, but I'm going to swatch them at the end of this video. So if you want to see me get ready to this look um, and show you some of my purple shades, purple, orange, then go ahead and keep on watching. And also, just so you know, I this was a trial and error look because there were probably two other looks that I wanted to do and I had in mind, but I couldn't execute them like I want to, so I kind of went almost basic with this one. I don't know. I, I really, really love this look. Like, I didn't realize how much I loved orange until, like, here I am. So, uh, I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and keep on watching, and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so the first orange I'm going to dip into, it's going to be from the Street Art Palette. And this actually, this palette has two oranges, this one and this one. This one's more like a orange sorbet orange, and this one's kind of a, almost a neon one. And I'm actually going to use both of them for this particular look. I, I do have a little bit more of a deeper orange coming up, and but these two are the ones that are going to be the, they're like the start of my... I feel like I said look a lot of times right there. So this is a crown brush, and that's what I'm going to use this one for. This is the shade Tropicana. This is definitely a softer one. I played with this palette the other day, like twice actually. I've had some people asking for looks with it, and I do have some coming up. not really sure if I want to post them anytime soon, but I will be posting them. This one's more of a buildable shade. And then we're just gonna go right into Fuzzy Peach. Somebody asked for a halo eye. And the reason why I do, do, don't do very many halo eyes on my channel is because the lid space that I have is so tiny that they look funny. I, I, I kid you not, you guys probably think you're crazy. No, 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 they really look funny on my eye shape. I think today I'm going to do, I don't know, I have two ideas. I do, I'm not sure. We're just going to roll with it. Back into this one. I hope you guys liked the red video. I really, really love that look. Like, really love that look. So next, I want to go into NoFo. This is from the Obsessed palette from Pinky Rose. I love Pinky Rose formula. I think they are so underrated and they're a Latino, you know, brand, owned brand. So I'm going to go into this one to deepen up that crease. Like, look how pretty that looks. Like, you can already tell how pigmented this is and, like, the different shades of orange and how the transition goes. I love how that looks. It's like a burnt Cheeto orange. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am going to carve this out, but not all the way because I definitely want to use more orange. I have an idea, like I mentioned, for what I want to do. Sorry, I'm not, like, I'm not doing my usual coating the brush. I'm actually dipping into a, a little batch of concealer I have on one of my mixing plates. I feel like that'd be easier, but apparently it's taking longer. So there we go. Honestly, I forgot how beautiful oranges were to play with. The orange I want to use next is also from the Pinky Rose palette, but I don't know if I'm going to love it with like the, the way it's already mixed, so we'll see how it goes and then we'll go from there. So this is kind of an orange neon that I want to use. But like I said, I don't know how it's going to look with this particular look because I really like the way it's going already. So I'm dipping this in. This is a crown brush. 
and I want to dab it here. I just don't want to take away from the orangeness of this look. And I know it like it's more of a neon orange. And that's I feel like I said orange a million times. Oh my gosh. And that's my concern. So it looks okay. I don't love it. So let me just buff out that corner a lot more. And then I'm actually going to go back into No Fear again with the same brush. Just to take away and go over it. So it's kind of intensifying No Fear, but still keeping that orange vibe. Oh, this reminds me of J Balvin. I love it so much. I feel like Fuzzy Peach is one of my new favorite shades. It's so pretty. I'm going to go into this shade from Jeffree Star. It is in the shade Flamethrower. I feel like this is one of his more truer oranges as far as like for liquid lip. What I want to do is go here and kind of smudge it out, blend it into that one just so that it make, just so that it, it kind of plays its role as more of a transition shade over the lid and then I want to leave this area a little bit more um, bare and make sure I blend that out I love flamethrower as a shade I feel like it, it's another underrated shade from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip line Anna Nicole is actually one of my favorite orange lipsticks, but it has more red to it. So I didn't want to include it in this video, but I am using a Jeffree Star liquid lip for the lip part of this video. So I'm really excited for the shade I'm using. And I feel like you guys should be as well. So I am making sure I've been doing this thing. This is a new, this is a new for me. Um, well, not new, but I've been doing it for a couple of months is I have an eyeshadow brush and kind of like a flat shader. And I've been using this for concealer a lot lately, especially like around this area, just cause I can get in a little bit deeper. Cause what I was using was the Morphe uh, round top one. I don't know off the top of my head what it's called, but I've talked about them in my favorite videos before. And I've been using these type of brushes for my concealer, especially around the eye area, just because you're already using an eyeshadow brush to apply your eyeshadow. So I feel like it's beneficial to also use it for your concealer, especially if you're one of those that uses concealer on the eyes like me. Some people use primer, so it's not the same. But I mean, you could use it as a primer or could use it for your primer. So I'm just blending that concealer into that lipstick, going back in. I love this look already so so much and I feel like this makes me so excited for this series because I'm two for two and I really love both looks so so much. Thank you guys for the love on the red video by the way. I appreciate that. Okay so I'm gonna finish up the other eye off camera kind of complete this one so that Jessica can go back to talking during his video games and I will be right back. Okay, so I haven't decided if I want to do like a little bit carved, which actually, what do you guys think? I think I will. I just, I feel like whenever it's round, it doesn't look as good on me in particular. So I always like smoke it out a little actually. I don't know guys, I'm really torn. Let's just go to blush. So for blush, we are dipping into the the androgyny palette so i know oops i haven't dipped into this i haven't dipped into this in a while but i i do love charm as an orange in fact i used to use this shade all the time and it makes a really good blush 
especially for an orange blush and I'm, I'm definitely going to kind of apply this up into my shadow kind of like what I did with the the pink or red sorry so let's just go there obviously I want it to be more of an orange but look at how pigmented that pigmented that is I really feel like Jeffree Star's eyeshadows make amazing blushes which has me so hyped for Jeffrey to come out with blushes because I know they're gonna be so incredible if like the eyeshadows are so soft matte and pigmented and that's what I like is that his mattes are soft mattes and that's why that formula remains one of my like absolute favorite formulas is because it's softer it's kind of like a contour as well so for highlight I I kind of I kind of wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go with for the highlight just because I don't really have very many orange highlights. I have peach highlights, which are cute, but I, I don't I don't really want to go peach with this look. I wanted something with a little bit more gold orange. So I did pull out the Aurora palette and I know this Lyra shade is almost orangish, yellow. I can't really explain it. That's what it looks like, but I feel like the reflex in it are going to be really pretty tied together with this look. So that is what I'm going to use today. I'm going to go ahead and set with the Cover FX Illuminating. Illuminating. Just to kind of moisten the face. Sorry for that word. And then we are going to apply that everywhere. Okay, not everywhere, but... Like, see how it has way more of an orange tint to it on the skin? Which is why I knew it would be perfect. And I am going a little bit over the top with, like, my blush and my uh, highlights on these particular looks. Because I want these, like I mentioned in my last video, to be a lot more fun than they are... Not necessarily not wearable because these are wearable looks, but just, you know what I'm talking about. So I am going to use the faux shade. That sounds like a good word. From this palette, um, the No F No Fear. I think I called it faux earlier. The No Fear Under the Eye. To smoke that out. Making sure everything looks good together. This this shade, the Tropicana shade from this palette, is so pretty. It's like a soft mustard orange. I, I guess mustard's yellow, but I can't explain it. And I hope the camera's picking it up properly. Like on my lens, it looks pretty, but I know once it translates to my computer, it always looks a little bit off, so I have to color correct it. And it, it's it's gorgeous. It's actually to die for in person. So I'm going to take more of flamethrower and kind of line the water lines a little bit and then take it out right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit when I do that because it's going to take me some time. So I'll be right back. So I did take a little bit of that blush. I put it on my nose and I took a little bit of the highlighter and I put it on my nose as well. I'm going to take a little bit of the highlighter again. Isto. And I'm going to put it on my... I'm going to put it on my inner corner here and here because, of course, we love a highlighted moment. I also put that up here a little bit, so I kind of did use it as like a bronzer contour. I love Charm. I'm telling you, it's such a gorgeous shade. So for lips, and I really love this orange. This is like the most gorgeous orange shade. And I've talked about this before during the collection review video. This is Coral Fixation from the Jeffree Star Summer 2018 video. Collection? Something like that. Like, look! It's just like the perfect neon orange color. I'm going to fix that. And that's kind of it for this look. I'm going to touch up the lipstick a little bit. I did set with the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Setting Powder. I love this stuff. This is like third. 
I would have to say it's third or almost tied with Jeffree Star. Number one still is Mineral Veil, like I mentioned in my last video. But for lashes, I'm going to use the Tarte Center of Attention ones. These ones here. But I think that's it. That's the last time I look. So I'm going to set my face, put on these lashes, and I will be right back. are back so I'm gonna go to get to swatching as you guys saw I did use a lot of the pinky rose and then the ruby may those are both two very small brands they're not very big I think they're in like the hundred thousands the hundreds of thousands of followers versus some of the bigger brands like Jeffree Star Cosmetics of course uh, I I do have some Morphe ones that I like but I felt like they were more in the 32 palettes and I know yesterday I used James Charles or the other day I used James Charles but I didn't want to pull out another 32 shadow palette for you guys which is also why I didn't pull out kind of um, another Jeffree Star like I could have gone with the job right here because I know that orange in that palette is super pigmented but I just felt like it wasn't it wasn't something I want to share again you use it yesterday and I you know I love it and I will say that the orange palette is really good and I the orange-ish shade in Thirsty is also really good, but I decided not to use that one because I felt like they were more of a corally orange, and it's I don't know, it just wasn't wasn't worth mentioning. These are the ones that I would like, yes, especially the Androgyny palette, which I'll go to swatch for you guys because this Charmed shade is seriously one of my favorite oranges, and as you guys can see, it makes like the most gorgeous blush like I, I just I love it and I knew from the start I was going to use it as a blush versus like a shadow as you can see like, hello pretty this also makes a really good contour shade I did kind of use it up here on the forehead a little bit like I just like I'm I'm obsessed with it it gets one of my favorite shades and I, I know you guys have seen me do tutorials with it before so I, I kind of just had to had to do it like no doubt in my mind. This is the Obsessed palette from Pinky Rose. You guys saw me use it. The pigment shade that I wanted to use, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it just so you guys can see it in comparison. Like, it's such a gorgeous orange. It just didn't quite work well with what I wanted to do. I did technically still use it to um, uh, enhance. Is that the right word? Enhanced? To um, emphasize the shade No Fear. But it's definitely not what I was looking for in this particular look. So mixed together, they were really pretty. Actually, let me see if I can blend a couple of it together, a little bit of it together for you guys, just to kind of get the idea as to what I'm talking about for uh, the shade comparisons. Okay, so uh, this here is it by itself. This is the orange by itself, and then this middle shade is kind of what you're looking at in my crease right here. And I really like the way it looked. I felt like it blended out really pretty and I felt like they looked good together. The next is, of course, the Street Art Palette. Like I mentioned during my getting ready with me portion, a lot of you guys have been asking me for, for me to play with it. And I knew I was already going to be playing with it in the series. So that's why I kind of haven't focused too, too much on it. Because I wanted to show you guys it like mixed with other palettes. So... I'm going to go ahead and swatch those two shades for you so you guys can see them side by side. Sorry, I had to swatch my fingers. So it's Tropicana and Fuzzy Peach. Fuzzy Peach is such a gorgeous shade. Honestly, if I hadn't used Charm as a blush, I probably would have used Fuzzy Peach because it's like a, a bright, bright orange, and I just felt like it needed its own moment as well, but I didn't do that. So that is what they look like on the hand. This one down here is Fuzzy Peach. It kind of swatched like heck. Um, and then right there is Tropicana. As you guys saw on the lid, it's so much more pigmented than you can see it on my hand. Oops, right there, right there. But I, I will tell you, it almost looks yellow on my skin, which I really love because it's still orange with just a teeny tiny bit of orange undertones. So I just, I just had to use it. Like, 
It's perfect. It's a really good shade. And I will link this palette down below. This is another, um, this was sent to me, I want to say a few months ago and I haven't really shown it on my my channel on my page very much mostly because I haven't really been posting a lot I think I took all of March off almost like I posted four times which is really bad but this this palette here I feel like you guys were expecting this, this is a take me back to Brazil palette and this one here has the like brightest orange that I like and I will say I wanted to use it today but I didn't because I, I just I feel like it gets enough attention as it it needs on its own so that's them right there that's all the oranges in a row when I wanted to put this look together I felt like these were the shades that I was going to go towards like I knew in my head okay well I've seen that orange in that palette so I gravitated towards these oranges versus like I, I usually do with the Jeffree Star oranges like I know you guys are probably surprised that I didn't use the Thirsty palette like I mentioned earlier but I just felt like these deserved a little bit more attention and for the look I'm very happy with the colors I went with. So that was it. That's kind of the orange video. I hope you like this look. And of course, let's not forget to mention the lipsticks. Uh, I think Jeffree Star has the best orange lipsticks. I can't think of any other brand that I gravitate towards their orange lipsticks. And Jeffree Star has like the perfect undertones for lips. Like this is Coral Fixation and it's just, it's gorgeous. Like it looks amazing and it just tied this look completely together. So uh, I knew in my head, as soon as I always think an orange, this is the orange shade. And then like I use flame throw on the eye. I love the way certain liquid lipsticks blend out as a shadow. So never like count those out because as you can see, they look good together. So that is pretty much it for this look. I, I, and then of course also the highlighter, I went with the Aurora palette. There's not very many good highlighters out there that aren't peach. And I feel like this one tied with the actual shadow really gave it that perfect that I wanted. So this is it. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're liking this series so far. It's something fun, something different. I mean, I'm just basically swatching the oranges at the end. If you guys want to see something more, like if you guys want to see me compare the lipsticks that I gravitate towards, because like if I'm like next I'm doing yellow, there's only a couple of yellows that are my collection. So I wouldn't be able to be like, oh, there's a lot. But if you wanted to, I would show you guys like when I get to the blue and the purple and the green series. I'd be happy to do that as well. So let me know what else you want to see from this series. I know this is only video two, but of course there's five more videos. So <laughs> I hope you come back for those. Of course, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm RLQ Rosie. You can find me on Instagram. This is my main platform, and that's where most of you guys have found me from. But I do have Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat, and uh, Tumblr. But I don't really like, I'm, I'm not interactive on there, not gonna lie. So um, if you don't like this video, please just walk away pretend it did not happen and as for the rest of you don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave turn on my notifications if you don't already I will be back in a few days with a new video yellow I don't know what I'm doing quite yet but I'm excited for it so come back for that one and um that's it I'll see you then